I'm Melanie. Welcome to my art studio. Today we are going to talk about some paper sculpture techniques that you can use to create your own paper sculpture, just like this, but better. Hey kids, this video is just for you. So grab some white paper or some colored paper or both, some glue or some clear tape or both, colored pencils, crayons, markers, any of those, a pen or a pencil, or if you've got colored pencils, that would work too and a pair of scissors. Make sure the scissors are safety scissors for you younger ones, um, and make sure you ask. Don't use your mom or dad or guardian's uh, special scissors. I don't wanna get you in trouble. We're going to start by introducing you to all the different techniques that I have here for you today. The first one is a tube. We're going to make some tubes, fringe, different kinds of fringe, tabs, a prism down here, cut on hold, spiral, a loop, curl, curl, prism, oh, I'm sorry, cone. <laughs> That's a prism. Well, let's get started. So for the tube, I'm going to grab a pencil, or you can grab a pen, cut out a rectangle like this, and then you're going to use your fingers to turn it into kind of like, what do you call this, a periscope? grab some glue and you're just going to use your finger or if you have a glue stick and just put it on the very edge here you don't have to do it exactly how I do it I'm just showing you one way maybe you can come up with a better way and then I'm going to connect the part that's glued don't worry if you're getting glue everywhere. That's the fun of it. Here's my skinny tube. Now I'm going to take a fatter piece of paper. And there you have it. Now the next one is curled fringe. All I've done is I've taken a piece of paper, just a rectangle. Here's a a rectangle just like this just like I had before and I started to cut so these are really skinny and these are really fat so I'm going to show you how to just you can pick them as skinny as you can just be careful you got to stop when you get to the, towards the top So here you have some really fun fringe. You could use this for hair. Now this one is a pleated fringe. And all you do is, let's cut this paper here. So what you're doing is you're folding one way and then turn it over and fold it the other way. Back and forth. There. Like that. And then you just keep going. So that's a pleated fringe. Now the curl fringe, same thing. You cut them just like this, but then you take a pencil and just curl them around your pencil or your pen. Right. 
So you can make that as tight as you want and look at look what happens here. How cool is that? The next part we're doing is the tab. And tab is just a strip of paper. What I did, let's start on this one. It's almost like teeth. I cut little pieces and I went to about the center of my piece of paper. And I just, I'm trying to cut them. In this case, I'm making them kind of fat, but you don't have to make them fat. You can make them skinny. So what I did is folded it like this, and then the next one, I folded the other way. And this one isn't cut as much, so I'm gonna cut it a little bit more. And now I'm going to fold it down this way. And now this one I'm going to fold that way and this way. What you've got are what we call tabs. And you can glue it onto a piece of paper and build up if you want. Now the next one is a prism. I just got some different sizes of paper and a prism or a, a this is a triangular prism and a triangle has how many sides three right so I'm gonna fold my paper one two and how many sides does that give me one two Three. Then I take my three sides, I take the ends, and I put them together. I'm going to show you how to use tape this time. Or you can do it with the glue. Glue it on the inside and then press the two together. The next one is cone. Can you see that? I'm gonna start out with this. And we're going to cut it into the best circle that you can make. Now, if you need to trace it first with a pencil, go ahead and then cut it out that way. Peanut butter jar, lid, you might want to ask somebody. Circle, cut one cut to the center of my circle. Listen carefully. I'm going to take the where the cut is and I'm going to overlap, overlap one side onto the other. I'm going to pull it around until I get the size cone that I want. Now, I can glue it. It's kind of a cool cone, because it leans to the side. I like that. Cut on fold. All you do is you fold your paper, and cut either something round or triangle, however you want. And then when you open it up, you've got cuts on folds. Okay, now we're doing spiral. It's kind of bouncy. It's like boy, in it. All right. This frustrates people sometimes, so watch very carefully, and you can watch this video over and over again so you get it right. So you get it the way you want it. Sorry about that. I don't like to say that. So I'm going to cut out a circle, or you can use a square. I'm using the circles. I'm cutting right into the circle, and I'm going to go around the edge of the circle as if I'm making the circle smaller and I'm gonna try and keep the outer edge 
about the same all the way around. Just watch what I'm doing here, all right? This is supposed to be fun. So enjoy the process and don't be too anxious to get to the end. Now if you notice, I'm just keeping the same width and look what's happening. My circle is getting smaller. So if you can, do this with me around and around and around until you get to take your time. I'm doing this a little faster. Boom. So don't cut up. When you get to the center, just stop. And you've got your spiral. Cool. You can make these as long as you want. You can stick them together. Oh, you could have lots of fun with these. So practice, and the more you do it, the better you'll get. All right? You can also do it with a triangle, a square, or anything else that you like. The next one is called simply a loop. So all you do is you take a piece of paper, whether it be a fat one, a long one, a short one, a skinny one, and you just take the two ends and you stick them together. So let's just take a little glue and squeeze. And this is a curl. Now just kind of like what we did here, and I'm going to wrap it, now hold on, squeeze it, and then roll. You've got your curl. And now you have some examples of all the different techniques that you can use quickly. I want to show you how to use your white paper the same way you're using your colored paper. In fact, it might even be cooler because this is what you can do. You can take, I'm going to take a crayon, I'm going to take a couple crayons here, and you can make your paper into something super cool with just lines and circles and you can make your paper into a design. Just basic, come up with something on your own. I'm just showing you something easy you can do. So I'm using one color to make my circles and you can use as many colors as you want. Now I'm going to turn this, I'm just going to squiggle. Okay, you get the idea. Then come back in, maybe fill in that little dot. Maybe the next thing you do, quick, 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 is take a green and do a dark one so you can see it. And do just lines all over the place. And Again, it doesn't have to be neat because when it's all together, it looks super cool. Look at that. It's already starting to look really cool. So when you cut it up and make your cones and your prisms and your spirals, you get this. You can just keep adding and adding and adding. You can use colored pencils. You could use markers, all sorts of different things to create your very cool papers. And now, let's put something together. These are all the things we just made. I've got my spiral, and my curls, and my tabs. And look at all the different colors and how they go together. Now, I took just a simple piece of construction paper for my base. You can make it as big or small as you want and just start creating some kind of very fun sculpture that you want to create. And I want to show you the different things you can do with your curls. You can glue down one side anywhere on your paper, just like this. Be patient and let it dry. That's one of the hard things to do, right? Then you can twist it around and glue it again in another spot. Look at that. 
so let's put this fringe to work for it. I think I, I like that idea of making it into a circle. So I glue a little bit on one side and then the other on the ends, the opposite ends. And I'm going to turn it like this. I might want to fold it so that I can glue it down. <laughs> so I'm going to put it right there on my curl because I think that's going to look really cool. I'll let that dry. But look at it, it already looks cool. And you can just kind of spread out those little fringes a little bit. Yay! I've got my spiral. I'm not quite sure how I want to put it down. I really like this tab. So I think do I want to? Ooh, I like that. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of picking up the pieces, placing them on my little base, just a piece of construction paper, any color you want. You could use white even. And you could use our cool paper that we created. I'm just gonna put a little glue and then I'm gonna wrap it around here like this. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can just glue as you go and just go for it, or you can plan it out. There are plenty of different ways to do this. I'm excited, this is really fun. So maybe you want to put this, this looks like a fountain, doesn't it? And, I don't know, where would this cone go? Maybe over here. Maybe, I take my prism and I glue my cone on the side. Look at that. That's cool. Maybe I put my... Ooh, look at this. Maybe I put my... my it looks like a fountain to me. Check it out. I'm going to stop because I'm having way too much fun. I'm going to let you take over now. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I really hope that you will try this and maybe even let your guardian or parents or grandparents or babysitters in on your fun because they might like it too. You can show them a thing or two. Stay tuned for some more videos just for you. I'm really happy you stopped by. See you next time.